If you've been paying any attention to the news this week, you'll have seen a landslide of stories focusing on Valve's first foray into the world of mass market hardware manufacture. We're talking, of course, about the Steam Box. Trouble is, it's not that clear what the machine is, what it'll do, or who's making what. And with that in mind, this week's rumour mill sees us serving up a no-frills, meat and potatoes breakdown of exactly what the Steam Box is. First things first, there is more than one Steam Box. Consider it a collective name for Valve approved hardware. The thing that you've probably seen this week is actually Piston, a potential Steam Box developed by the XI3 Corporation, with investment from Valve. The compact machine is built to support Steam and the associated big picture mode for large high def TV screens. It was also the subject of this failed Kickstarter, suggesting that the Valve investment saved the project, or that the pictures we've seen on every Steam Box story are just completely wrong. Basically, Piston is one of many possible Steambox iterations. Getting back to the bigger picture, and Gabe Newell has admitted that Valve's own version of the hardware is on the way, but they're unlikely to make any formal announcements this year. Newell promises that their machine, currently codenamed Bigfoot, will be low cost and high performance. The intention is then for all of the Steamboxes to fall into one of three categories, good, better and best, and Valve's effort will live in the middle slot. And that leads us nicely onto cost. At present, we only know the price of Piston, which will sell for between $499 and $999, above the price range of budget consoles and comparable with the cost of a modestly powerful PC. For your money, you're essentially getting a means of playing Steam titles on your telly, without the faff of a PC, a compact, user-friendly entry point into a world of gaming that is often perceived as being both expensive and elitist. But does this make it a console? Well, sort of. The crucial difference here is that Steambox's focus is on openness and flexibility. Both Valve's machine and Piston come packaged with Linux, a free, open-source operating system that's the anathema of Windows 8's rainbow lockbox, or the ad-splattered homepage of Xbox Live. If you've ever wanted to fire up a machine and only see what you want, this could be for you. It gets better, though. That flexibility extends to the hardware, so unlike the current generation of consoles, your machine will be upgradable. Now, this means that manufacturers like Valve and XI3 won't lose money on every sale, and the machine won't be obsolete in six years' time providing, of course, you're willing to dish out for a shiny new graphics card. This isn't console-baiting scaremongering, it's just plain good news for anyone that loves games. So there you have it. Forget about the is it, isn't it confusion, and instead focus on this. Any iteration of the Steam Box is likely to give you open, upgradable, high-end access to a world of PC gaming from the comfort of your sofa. The question is, are you ready for that level of choice? Well, please let us know in the comments below, and subscribe now for more news and analysis as and when we get it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week for another Rumor Mill.